Okay, my, my brother's going to show you how to uh, strap this in. Uh, and I'm going to video for it to, to try to make it a little easier for you to understand. See how he goes over top. Then he's going out in front and over the barrel. Back under the barrel and then back down the other side into the D-ring. Okay, now he's going to do the other side. Uh, he went underneath, started on the bottom and threw the string over and he's going around the front, he's going around the pivot ball, back up over the barrel the same way just on the opposite side this time. That way you have two D-rings on there, two uh, straps to hold a gun. I don't trust it, like I said, with just one D-ring. Uh, I like to feel kind of confident if you're shooting this. Now, I don't know how big a caliber I would shoot in this. Right now we're doing with a 223, so there's not much recoil. So he's going to straighten these up the best he can and then uh, tighten down on them. He'll put one over top of the other so they're just both in line like nice and neat. And then he'll pull down on one side and then he'll go over and pull on the other side. Okay, so he's pulling on both sides. There, now it should the gun should be pretty well stable in the holder. So that's all there is to it. So now he now we can shoot and mess around. And he can, you can pull that strap down just a little there so he can close the bolt on this side there. Just pull the strap down, there you go, so the bolt closes. Each gun's a little different, but it works fine with this one, I've shot it already. So anyhow, now we're going to continue with the rest of the video and some of the instructions. Uh, and we're going to shoot this gun to show you what kind of recoil and also how to slow up some of the recoil.